Hello, 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 people. This is Maximus McCullough here with Avon Website Pro, and today we're going to take a little deviation tour. I'm going to talk to you about LibreOffice. LibreOffice is the best, in my opinion, the best uh, replacement for Microsoft Office. In fact, I think it's better than Microsoft Office. And uh, what's more is that it's free, and you can download it right here at LibreOffice.org. I'll leave the link in the description. But let me show you what you get once you download this. Uh, basically, this will work on any operating system. We're talking uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, and then the different distros in Linux. You could still use LibreOffice. And it's just a fantastic program. Let me show you. If uh, you use Microsoft Word, this LibreOffice writer, this, this is great. Because what happens is it kind of takes you back the way... Microsoft Office was in the past. Everything's up here that you need as far as, you know, your tools, your writing. You can even open up Microsoft Off Office documents in LibreOffice Writer and edit them. And it just has all of the different uh, things that you would expect in a, uh, a writer or Microsoft Office Word, but without all the confusing stuff like the cloud and the... Uh, the big ass buttons that you don't know, you know, the buttons that are hidden here in LibreOffice Writer, everything's just right there. And then, you know, like you used to do if you wanted to go uh, menu items across the top. So, so here's the menu items and then here's the icons. All right. Now, the thing is, you could turn these on and turn them off, you know, as far as as far as that goes but we're going to get into each one of these applications in detail in future tutorials so the purpose of this is just to give you an overview and you know if if you think that this is going to match your workflow and make things easier for you you'll be able to do it let me show you what uh, to switch it between these different applications is, is a really a breeze. So this is text document, the Office Writer. If we want to do a spreadsheet, it loads up the spreadsheet just like that, and you'll think, see that everything changes, and you're ready to do, uh, you know, equations and so on and so forth. It's, it's real simple. If I want to switch to presentation, which is Microsoft PowerPoint. I just load that up. I could grab one of these templates here, double click it, and I'm ready to go. Voila, I can make a presentation. And like I said, we're going to be getting into all of these details later. But you can see that each one has this kind of like the same uh, format, the same menu items, and so on. So we're, so we're not going to get confused. This is what I love about this program. And it works flawlessly. I've been using it for years. It's just totally amazing. I Got rid of Microsoft Office. Hello, Libre. Okay, and then the next thing, drawing. You know, if you want to make some drawings, vector graphics, whatever, here you go. Uh, you're, you're ready to start making your drawings, whatever you need to do in here. Uh, text, uh, featured images, um, but uh, yeah, they're vector. So they load really quick. Uh, the next thing that we have here, if we go down is uh, we have these different formulas, math formulas, and if uh, you want to know what this is about, uh, E equals mc squared, right? Einstein's equation theory of relativity, okay? So there you go, and then you have these different formulas that you could put in here for, and it's called LibreOffice Math. Um, and uh, the final thing is the database. So if we wanted to create a database, which we'll be doing this, like Microsoft Office has access, we have the database wizard. And so this is what's so great and so cool about LibreOffice, and I'm excited to do these tutorials for you. Uh, we're going to go through this one step at a time, one program at a time. And uh, so, I, you know, we could get you on your way to your workflow. Once you get the, all these things down and in the future, uh, this is the other thing that I like about, about LibreOffice. All of this stuff that you see here has been the same for years. It, does, it didn't change on me. It, it hasn't changed. You know, uh, the, the, the look and feel may, may have changed a little bit, but you can always go up here and get what you need as far whenever you're editing your, editing your documents. And the other thing, you know, Microsoft Office said, well, you could do uh, it easily in the cloud. You know, you can use their application easily in the cloud, which I beg to differ. I've, I have had so many clients. Now, I can use it, but I'm a computer programmer. I've been doing this for years, right? But as far as, uh, you know, somebody that just wants to get in and get their work 
done and get out and not have to learn a new program every damn time they load it with the updates. LibreOffice is what you want to use. Uh, as far as the cloud goes, you can use Google Drive, Dropbox to upload these documents to the cloud. You know, and then uh, as far as Google Drive, they have a desktop application where you can open up your folder, edit your document, save, and then it just automatically uploads to the cloud. So that point is mute. And as far as Microsoft's other programs like OneNote or Outlook, uh, it's just I, I think they're junk. I think they're junk in the first place. I mean, there's people out there that like Outlook and uh, OneNote, and you know, good for them if they if they can use it. But I can't see paying for a program that number one, you get this stuff free, and number two, I think it's way better than Microsoft because it never changes. You always know where things are. Okay, yeah, well, you know where they are, and you know how you know your workflow. So if you agree with me or you disagree with me, go ahead and leave in a comment and below. Uh, please subscribe uh, because I'm going to start this week uh, making tutorials. We're going to start with uh, LibreOffice Writer, and then we're going to go into the other applications later. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.